Good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. This is Soul Work, and I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and we're live here on Shaw TV tonight. And we have officially opened up our phone lines here, and that number is 403-539-6710. And I have author and actor Neil Enoch on tonight's show, who has written a couple of books here, Mayan and Doc Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to let the viewers know, we are going to be giving away Neil's books. These two, not all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. yeah, you're driving over there with the truck. <laughs> the truck's coming later. Yeah. The, the big truckload. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to be giving um, books away to the first caller and to the second caller. Do you want to have it where um, they can choose which book they want or I do you want so. to? No, they can choose. Both callers can choose what they want. I have a couple of each. Oh, well, see, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Because the reason I was asking is because we have somebody on the phone already. Awesome. Yes. And Abby, you have a question for Neil and myself and or myself. Hello, Neil, or, uh, Abby. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jenny and Neil. Thank you for taking my phone call. You're welcome. I uh, just wanted to say, Neil, your books sound really interesting. Oh, thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing the movie. Uh, well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to making it. Then see. Oh, you will make it. I, You'll have fun. You will make that. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of help on that. Oh, you, movies are not a solitary exercise. Ever. Yeah, I know. Ever. No, I know, but it will yeah. happen. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I, I plan on it. <laughs> it will. And you have a question for us, Abby. I sure do. Um, I came to Calgary three years ago after a divorce, and so everything's new, going to school, m meeting new people and stuff. But I'm really homesick for the West Coast, and... Um, I was wondering if you might see me going out yes. there in the next year or so. Yeah, and, yeah actually. And how things would work out. Um, yeah, within, it's funny you said that I saw a year and a half. So you very well could be gone back in, in a year and a half. And I, and I really feel that when you go back this time, that you're going to be much more content and happier. And things are actually going to come into place for you and flow. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's just, you have that kind of watery energy with you and you'll feel you're going to be more grounded there. And then you can take a copy of Neil's book with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Which one would you like? Um, about the, I'll let you pick. Mm, well, if you're going to the coast and if it's not a winter trip, I'm thinking Mayan. Yes, Mayan. Yeah, that I'm sounds great. Mayan. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Now, did the girl take your phone number and, or, and name and stuff like she that? Did. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. Enjoy but, but the read. Yes, no, ab absolutely. You can take <clears throat> that on the flight back, but I, absolutely, um, you will be back within a year and a half. So um, you're going to find that you're going to get more and more and more and more drawn to it just to do that. Like even, for instance, even if you had like this fantastic opportunity coming for you tonight or tomorrow type thing, you, you would still go back east. Okay. Yeah, um, and I'm actually um, seeing horses around you around the countryside too. Perfect. Yeah. And do you see me working out there too? Yeah, you're going to have no problem at all. Everything is just going to flow for you. Great. Yeah, you know how sometimes, you know, any move is stressful. It doesn't matter if you're moving across the street or another province or country, but all of that is going to just blend perfectly. And when you get back, you're going to be like, you know, I wish I would have come back earlier. <laughs> but divine timing for how everything falls into place. Yeah. So, yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. You're, you're very welcome. And um, Neil will get those Mayan book to you. Enjoy. I look forward to reading it. Enjoy the read. It is. Yes. And thank you for calling in, Abby. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. So, so Calgary, that <clears throat> phone line's open. 403-539-6710. Give myself and Neil a call. So, Neil, what is next for Mayan? Um, I am getting a lot of pressure already for the <laughs> next book. Yeah, um, I can see that. Yeah, it's uh, once you, if you've read the book, um, once you've read it, you'll realize that the sequel could go any one of a number of different directions. So, as I say, I'm already getting some pressure. So we shall see. The prequel for it is already outlined. 
but I want oh. I actually want to release the sequel next. Oh. Because I have to tie the sequels t into the prequel and the the story. And there are some, as I was mentioning earlier, I have a diabolical plan for the sequel. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I'm not going to share it, but no, there is no, a, no, there's a somewhat diabolical plan for the sequel. Yeah. So, um, and that's my diabolical plan, not the characters. Yes. So uh, if it works, it will be an entertaining journey into journal, into how to release books. Yeah. That the second one will be, uh, you know, from what I'm feeling on it. I feel the second book is going to get even more interesting because I see more of an international connection with the second book for you, by the way. That's okay. going to open up <clears throat> more doors with that. Well, the first book already takes place in England. Yeah, um, but meaning a connection for you in business. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Writer-wise, writer yeah. That'd be all right. Yes. I'd be good with that. Yes. So there that. we go. That we, yeah. We've actually put books just a few down into Playa del Carmen, yeah. which is where the story takes, yes. a lot of story, story takes place off the coast there. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to get it into the hands of some of the right people at the resorts and that, because yeah. I think that would be a nice read it while would. you're on holidays about the, uh, the, the Mayan arches that are in the center mm. of Playa del Carmen. Well, they're featured in the book. They are. It, you know, there's a lot of reality in the story. Yeah. The story's woven around through, yeah. through very real ruins, through very real locations, yes. and very real people. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah, and the 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 wizard warlock thing coming in with the UK. And the, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll talk. That's a different thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll have to talk about that separately. Yes. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another caller, awesome. and our caller is Joyce. Do you have a question for Neil and myself? Welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, Hi Jenny. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You have a question Hello? for us. You have a question for us. Yes. Um, my son that has passed away, his birthday is coming up. And I'm just wondering if there's anything special you would like me to do for it. What's your son's first name? Joey. Uh, as soon as you said his name, all I kept on seeing was a bicycle for some reason. And... Um, you're gonna find, and it's and it's for anybody really too. Whenever there's like birthdays, Christmases, um, like anniversary dates, or, and and different things like that, you're gonna find that they're gonna come to you and give you a lot more signs that he's around. How old was he when I passed? Because I just I kept on seeing this bicycle. What what is the bicycle? The, I don't know what the bicycle means. There's something more with this bicycle connection though. Um, with him so it, it very well could be something that he might single with you some something to do with the bike i might get more information coming through but go on okay i have his daughter's bike in my garage but yeah he I, just kept I, on he kept on showing, pointing to the bike so it it very well could be if that doesn't ring with you with him personally it very well could be that if your daughter's bike is in there um, the day of his birthday or something, um, you know, the bike might be against the other side of the wall or something as like a sign that, hey, mom, I'm here. Because whenever I start hearing things of objects, I always get it out because there's going to be more of a meaning to it. But he, okay. yeah, so ask him. What I personally would do, I just say, you know, can you physically give me a sign that you're here with us? Okay, and I get a lot of the, uh, like, Flashing. Yep, yeah, and and dream forms they come to you in a dream form and such like that. How how old was he when he passed? Forty. Yeah, because um, I just kind of felt more of like a, a younger energy with him. You know, um, even if he was eighty or or twenty, I just felt like more of a like a younger energy with him. But ask yeah. him. Yeah, I really do. I just feel like a real lightness with him you know of course very much at peace and stuff like that i just felt though really kind of when he passed in a way because when somebody passes i can feel it when they leave their body and everything because sometimes people can struggle a little bit more with that um yeah. but i just really felt like him like a male energy was greeting him and, and opening wide for him and everything was flowing for him so okay. yeah so just kind of keep really open for the bike thing um you know yeah okay yeah, yeah. when's his birthday yep yeah, I just have one more question. Um, 
My grandson is having some problems right now. I'm just wondering what I can do to help him. What, what's his first name? Kieran. Yeah, a very old soul, um, not age. Um, the thing is, is with, with Kieran is he's very intuitive um, and he can be a little bit stubborn at times. And I know that he holds a lot back rather than saying it out loud. So let's say if there were certain issues going on with a certain part of his body, for instance, he's not gonna announce it as much, he's gonna hold back. So whenever he starts talking to you about certain things that are bothering him, it's, it's a way of him of really expressing it, but his full expression isn't coming out. But all you can just do realistically right now is just ask him, do you need anything? Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. Because some people, they're more than willing to, you know, work around the situation. But I would just say, do you need anything from me or, you know? Okay. Yeah, and just um, kind of go with his energy and response with that. Is he going to be okay? Um, it, it's just, you know, like he's starting to slow down a little bit more. So I just kind of feel the agitation with him with certain things. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just feeling him a little bit more agitated. I get, you know, like a little bit of fear going in on him and that's what I mean like he's holding back a lot of different things and it's it's better if he expresses himself but it's it's easier to say than than what's happening okay yeah yeah okay and, and yeah thank you so much you You're, have a good evening and you too and and by the way I almost forgot of the books, Neil. Yes. Yes, um, you're the second caller. You're the second caller. You, you're welcome to one of the two books. Which, which would you oh, be your okay. preference? Oh, okay. Yes. I'll have the Mayan. There you go. We will make that happen. As yeah. long as they got our information. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Yeah. See, yeah. And, and Neil will, will get in touch with you. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> sure. And I'll sign the books, too, of course. Both of you. Yes. And thanks for calling in. Thank, Thank you, you for calling in. You're welcome. You're awesome. welcome. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because like with, with the two books right now, <clears throat> you, you know, um, especially with Christmas coming next month, mm -hmm. this would be a fantastic gift. It, it, um, it is in many ways. Uh, it, was written, it's a, it was written as a kid's book, 7 to 12, uh, but it's actually reviewed most often as from 7 to 77. And that's a lot of that's because it's all about trains and Christmas, and there's a lot of people like trains. Uh, you know, I'm one of yeah. them. So, um, so it has a wide reach. It's a different story, and the other thing is it's set in a pre in the present day. So things like this are actually in this in the story. This yes, is an elf pad. That's in the so story. interesting. Yeah. That is so interesting. That's, that's one, of, one of my diabolical inventions. Okay, this yeah. one's not diabolical. That that's a fantastic yeah. idea, though. It works well. I've been wearing this one actually two years. Wow. As a sort of a prototype test. Yeah. When it comes to life, it will be called the wrist rack. But in the book, in Doc Christmas, <laughs> it's an elf pad. Oh, really? Yeah. So the elves can pull out a hot cocoa anytime they want. Oh. So they have better gadgets than we do because elves always have better gadgets than we do. Wow. So they, in, the, in this book, set in the present day, they have much better gadgets than we have in the present day. Yeah. And, I, and I, I wanted to do that to keep some of our younger generation who are very gadget oriented. Yeah. Interested still in the story yeah because at the heart of it is a nice solid christmas message so what about mayan what's your normal age group for that do you find um it's written for 12 and up okay um, i've got i've got people that are 40 50 i've got a 10 year old is reading it having no troubles and yeah. enjoying it enjoying the heck out of it i saw that at one of your book signings when i was there there's a younger younger yep. guy there and he he read your book yep they it's it's got a good rage uh, range it's it speaks to a lot of areas it's written it's hard to actually classify the genre is it sci-fi yes is it historical very much so is it a romance well no, not really there's a romance in it is it an adventure yeah Would so you it's, say it's an adventure you're reading it yes it's getting to be an adventure and you're it not is. you're not even the good bits yet yeah i know <laughs> i will be tonight so. i want to read more when i get home yeah definitely so. and i'm already getting the wrap-up sign oh yeah already that's very quickly I know it goes yeah. by very quickly, indeed it, it does. So I couldn't even take the last call, actually. Oh, yeah. Darn. And I and I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me, Jenny. It's oh, awesome. yes, yes. And when the sequel comes out, and that, I'll have you back on. As they say, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Absolutely, will be. And this is soul work, and 
on Shaw TV. We are live here. We'll be back next Wednesday evening. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and the show will be on YouTube as well. So if any of you miss it, you can catch it on YouTube. Good night, everyone. Good night.